Hello, welcome back to another video with Umuolani. I am just kind of testing the waters again here, seeing what's what's up. Took a probably about three, four weeks away from the game now, so I was just kind of seeing. What people are grabbing, what the builds are. I'm still doing my bubblegum dango. I do like the cosmic abyssia that I have, but the bubblegum dango is just so cute. So again, you can just uh, click on an item and drag it over another item. Uh, you don't actually have to combine them to see what they do. Uh, it'll show you so you can read. So let's see here. When combat begins, where someone's whirlwind on the opposite side of the arena, removes the closest enemy from combat for five seconds. Oh, so you can kind of control and direct which enemy. Oh, you know? I kind of sensed that, and I was curious how people were doing that. It does help to, to actually read all the items. So we'll, we'll go ahead and sell her. Give ourselves a bit of a, a chance here with the front line. I do like the star moth. The star moth, the star moth is really cute. It, uh, that's the name of the the, the orca. Got the Tom Kench going. Tom Kench is just tough to eat through. Early game.
I'm going to go ahead and read Cultist over here on the left. That is what our Chosen has. So once your team loses 50% of their health, Galeo is summoned, slamming the largest cluster of enemies and knocking them up. His strength increases based on the total star level of all active cultists. Uh, this, it, the six star uh, Galeo is... Uh, he's the one that that gets the skill. Uh, so until you get the, the six piece cultist, um, Galeo is... You know, he can be really powerful early game, but then there's there's a drop and then you really need the the two star Galeo to, to do some damage. And don't mind if I do. And you can always right click on the Glio over on the board uh, before he's summoned uh, to kind of check out his stats. And now he's got 1568 maximum hit points and he, he's got 157 attack. Uh, it definitely went up having the, the second two star on the cultist was uh, was really good. Stick the target dummy right up front. So the target dummy, uh, something that everybody everybody got out of the the red loot orb. Uh, just basically everything targets that. Keepers, they give shields to everybody around them. At the start of combat, they grant themselves and all adjacent allies a shield for a duration. The shield is 50% stronger on keepers. It's 150 shield for 8 seconds uh, with, the, with the buff that I have currently. So everything around... Just giving everybody that extra, that extra shield.
So there are, uh, if you scroll over Cultus, you can see it shows you at the bottom the picture of everybody. Uh, the cultist, there are eight different cultists. The only way to get the nine piece cultist is to get a chosen with the cultist as part of it. Uh, now, you do get one hero per level that you are on the board, so assuming that you don't get lucky and get a double spatula item, uh, you're going to be getting um, nine players if you get up to level nine. So the eight, I will be grabbing the eight cultists, and then it's just a matter of uh, who do I grab to give me the, the extra buff for somebody, or do I just grab an extra cultist? Um, the keeper buff I really like early on because it just kind of helps me survive to get up to level six. And then uh, later game, it really just kind of depends. Uh, could go mystic depending on what's going on. Could go keeper. Um, I will reroll a little bit here, see if I can't get some more releases. Now we have the six-piece cultist, and I'll right-click on the Galeo here so you can see his hit points and his attack power went up a lot. 3172 and 403, he also has access to his spell. Uh, his spell reduces all incoming damage by 50% for three seconds, taunting all nearby enemies for the duration. At the end of the taunt, he sends out a pulse of an infernal fire, dealing 250 magic damage to enemies around him. Alright, now we're going to do a little bit of re-rolling. Try to get some more silvers and actually get a gold at least. That would be. I'm just looking for cultists. That's all I'm looking for. Okay, we got the gold at least. Stop rerolling and get up to level seven. For the cultist build to actually work, you do need to have at least one or two three stars on the board. Uh, three star and gold, those are interchangeable terms. Uh, if you right click on the Elise, you'll see she's three star at the top. She also, to the left of her uh, hit points, she's got the, the gold triangles. Um, but the three star is, is the best way to get your uh, Galeo buffed. And now he's 33, 80, and 429. And that was with the three star change. So the so you do need to do a bit of re-rolling with the cultist. 
the cultists. I'm gonna get up to level seven here before I do more rerolling. I want a, a better chance of getting more of the blues. Lots of loot orbs. Just looking for cultists, it is, it is the only thing I'm looking for. Now we have two two stars as well as we got level seven, so we've got the extra. Or I'm sorry, sorry, we have two three stars. Uh, so we are doing really good. I'm kind of waiting to see what else I get. Uh, this uh, depending, I'm I'm debating on uh, whether I want to make the Siver or the Kalista the carry. Um, right now they both have one item on them, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what else I get. Uh, see if I get more. I have another BF sword, uh, which will be good for the Sivir. Uh, I need recurve bows for the for the Kalista, so it just kind of depends on what I get. All right, I'm gonna try to get up to level eight here before we do a whole lot more rerolling. So Sivir, what she does, uh, she rallies her allies within two hexes, granting them 40% attack speed for five seconds. She grants 100 bonus attack damage for the duration. Or she gains bonus attack damage. And then I have she her basic attack skill to hold her for 40% of the damage dealt. So she's got some healing on her. Could also make it so that she crits. Could make it so that she... Uh, cast more often. There are some options. Uh, this person's going Siphoner. And Adept, so he is going to reduce attack speed.
blade, excuse me. we will actually try to get up to level 9 here before we do a ton of rerolling. We're missing three cultists, which is maybe not good. Well, it's not good. Uh, but you know what? Here. We will give Sivir the, the extra buff she needs. He's got two gold slayers. Wow. That'll do it. Oh, we were only missing two cultists. Okay, so now we're only missing one. So now we need to get up to level nine. Give us the best chance of getting the the yellows. Lots of good items in there. Wow. here in just a couple of rounds. Level 9 is expensive and it's hard to get up there. Uh, the fact that we were on such a winning streak for such a long time is, is why we're doing as well as we are with getting there.
there's our zillion. Yeah, we'll just get him in there. So nine piece cultist. Uh, I'll right click on the Galeo here as soon as we're in the now we're going to see a big boost, and the Galeo is not going to die quite so so easy. All right, right click on him. Seventy four forty health and twelve twenty eight attack power. He also bigger range on the knock up, so he knocks up more players on the board when he when he lands. Now I could switch from Keeper over to Siphoner, which actually maybe I should. You know what, I think I will. Which means I can spread things out. Looking for a uh, Swain or Cultist, that's all I'm looking for. So Zillion, what he does is he places a protective time room on the three allies with the lowest health rather than himself. When they would die, they instead resurrect after three seconds, returning to combat with 500 health and shedding all negative effects. After resurrecting, another Aatrox. Every additional star we get on the Cultus is just making our, our Galeo more powerful. So it's, it's all just a good thing. So after resurrecting, they have 75% bonus attack speed for the rest of combat. So the health and attack speed that they come back with is affected by, looks like, spell power. Um, so something like a Rage Blade on, hit on Zillion would actually be really good.
Sivir. Oops. There's the two star swain. Very nice. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up it. If you enjoy what I'm producing, please subscribe to the channel. This is Mulani. We'll see you next video.